If you pursue the things in your life that are meaningful once you've oriented yourself, and that means accepting the challenges that come along with that, because one of the things that you'll find, you even find this in music. If you know a piece of music completely, then you tend not to want to listen to it anymore. There still has to be some challenge in it. You still have to track it. And sometimes music is so complex, you just can't. It just sounds like noise. So instead of aiming to be the entity without flaws, you're aiming to be the entity that continues to realize its flaws and overcome them. Well, that's a game you can play forever. You don't take responsibility for things that you don't accept. You only take responsibility for things that you do accept. You say, well, the world is fundamentally flawed because its fundamental nature is intolerable vulnerability. Accept responsibility for the catastrophe of your life. And that way you transcend it simultaneously. And there's, a, there's an unbelievably hopeful message in there. And the message is, you're actually strong enough to do that, you just don't know it. And you won't find out till you do it. You can't find out till you do it. But if you did it, you'd find out that it was true. It's a massive risk. It's the ultimate in risks, right? You have to be willing to lose your life in order to find it. Don't let what you are stop you from being what you could be. You're on the pathway to continual incremental improvement. You only have to burn off a feather at a time instead of having the whole bloody thing burst into flames. It's a constant source of renewal. I want to seek out a challenge. I want to find out where my limits are. I want to find out where there's not enough of me yet. And to stay continually refreshed by the water of life is to take on exactly the right amount of chaos to make sure that your garden is properly nourished. And I think meaning is actually the marker of that. It's better to be engaged in the solution of a complex problem than not to have a problem at all. It's better for there to be being than non-being because being is a problem. And you can be so engaged in solving the problem that it justifies the fact that the problem exists. Doesn't matter if it's punctuated by tragedy or even predicated on tragedy. It's worth it. It's the choice of what game you're going to play. And you know, you can play the game of the seeker, I would say, and if you play that game, then everyone wins. And it's the best game you can play. And so the, the, the answer in some sense to the tragedy of life, to the catastrophe of life, to the fall, is to adopt the responsibility of mortality that goes along with that and to play that game maximally. And paradoxically, it's in the willingness to do that that the solution emerges. You, you voluntarily accept it and then strive to overcome the suffering that's a consequence of that. And you do that for you and you do that in a way that makes it better for other people. The only way that you can find out is by trying it. That's it. No one can tell you how it will work for you. It's the thing that your destiny is to discover that. The point is that there's some games you don't get to play unless you're all in. No matter what you do, you're all in. This is gonna kill you. So I think you might as well play the most magnificent game you can while you're waiting. Because do you have anything better to do?